in lizards, geckos and animal lizards can have adhesive toe pads. These toe pads contain microscopic hair-like structures called setae which can contain smaller hair-like endings called spatulae. Gecko setae can be branched with many spatula tips whereas animal setae are unbranched with one spatula tip. A skink species Prasinohema virens also has adhesive setae on its feet and these are also unbranched. Animals can have a, great, a, a higher density of setae than geckos and their setae can be shorter and thinner than geckos. Setae can vary between different geckos and the gecko species Nortinus elegans has dense, short and thin setae that aren't greatly branched. Nortinus elegans therefore has setae more similar to animals in some aspects than other geckos do. Animals can still have a greater, dens a greater setae density than Nortinus elegans though. The skink species Prasinohema virens can have setae with a density and diameter more similar to some geckos than animals. Setae in animals Prasinohema virens and geckos have been described as having setae with triangular endings. Although geckos in the family Eublepharidae lack adhesive pads, climbing Eublepharids can have short and branched setae like in cat geckos feet and tail and a Eublepharid cave gecko can have short setae on its feet and tail. The setae on this cave gecko's forefeet can have some branching but not as much as some other geckos. These setae in Eublepharids may be less adhesive than some geckos toe pads, however Eublepharid setae may still enhance friction. Common leopard geckos which are Eublepharids lack setae. Chameleons can also have friction enhancing setae on their feet and tails and, and the tips aren't triangular shaped but have narrow spatula narrow spatula they have narrow spatula which are long relative to their width. Spiders and some insects can also have st structures called setae. In geckos, setae can be made mainly of beta keratin with some alpha keratin and the setae can contain lipids on their surface. Alpha keratin is found in human hair and nails. Beta keratin can be harder than alpha keratin and can be found in geckos skin and birds feathers. Beta keratin can contain sheet-like structures called beta pleated sheets and alpha keratin can contain helical structures called alpha helices. Geckos can actually leave phospholipids in their get sorry, uh, geckos may actually leave phospholipids in their footprints. The tips of ladybird adhesive setae can contain the elastic protein resolin shown in the picture by parts of elastic bands. Other parts of ladybird setae may contain other proteins and chitin. Alpha keratin, beta keratin and resolin are fibrous proteins. Ge uh, sorry, uh, chitin on, is on the other hand a polysaccharide. Beta keratins and reptiles and birds can now be known by other names like keratin associated beta proteins or corneous uh, beta proteins. Geckos and animals can have dry adhesive pads whereas some insects with adhesive setae can use secreted fluid between the setae and surface. 
spiders may also use fluids in their adhesive pads. Spider setae on adhesive pads can be branched though like gecko setae. Frogs can also have adhesive pads that secrete fluid, which is why I drew the frog with watercolour pencils. Frog adhesive pads can also contain nano, nano pillars though. Cetae aren't just present in animals, and cetae aren't necessarily adhesive. Hair-like structures in plants can get called cetae, and then in algae called diatoms, uh, diatoms can have cetae and can form chains by fusing cetae together, so they're sort of like a chain of geckos holding toe pads.